314 reactor here and today I've brought myself the Nerf Raptor Strike. I want this for a project and you'll see why. Let's get this bad boy open. Alright, now this is a very nice looking Nerf gun but there's one thing missing on it and that is a scope and there's also no rails to put on a scope either. So this is where I, with an Arduino and some servos, are going to add on a scope that will rotate up the side so you can run it with a scope or without a scope. So DF Robot supplied me with the parts for this and these are Arduino Nano, an illuminated push button and these servos. Okay, so what I've done is make the main circuit with the Arduino on it, which connects to this illuminate button. And it's also got four pins there, four sets of pins for these servos, which will move the scope up. And it's going to be attached to this bad boy. So that's going to slot on the front, just about there. And then the button is going to be around there, so you can click it, and then the scope should wind up to the top where you can look through it. Okay, so I've glued on the circuit with the battery box and the illuminated switch. So you'll be able to hold it as it's attached on the bottom of the Nerf gun and press the button, boom, boom, and that should move the scope up and down into place. Now it's just down to getting the servos on in the right way to get the scoop to move up and around to the top. Alrighty, so we have the apparatus glued together, the button's glued on, the battery pack's glued on, and the board itself is on the bottom of the uh, battery pack. Um, all the arm is glued up to here, which leads to another servo there, which spins the uh, scope itself around, which is precariously screwed on at a bit of an angle. And then let's give it a little test. Switch it on. So that'd be kind of its default position. Um, it's not finalized yet, but uh, you can imagine that'll be down to the side of the rifle. And then when pressing button, it'll move around. So hopefully I just need to get that facing directly up and then it should spin the scope directly round and you should be able to look through it on the rifle. So, yeah, it's looking good. Okay, so I had to modify a few things. I had to take off the top servo because it was too heavy for the overall apparatus to move. So then these little servos can't really handle it. So it's one servo and it actually makes a lot more sense, but it's a little less comical, which was kind of what I was going for originally. But now it will just move from the right to the left, um, like so. So it's default position, and then you press the button, and it goes to the top, and then back. So, there we go. Now, let's see how it looks on the Raptor Strike. Scope on, scope off, scope on, scope off. Perfect. Let's do some shooting.
And the best thing is because it's modular, it will fit on other Nerf guns. So here it is on a much smaller Nerf gun and it still pretty much goes along the top just like that and works pretty well. So scope up if you want, unscope, scope, close range, long range, perfect. Let's give this a few fires as well. scope to some nerf rifles that can't otherwise have a scope on them. Of course the scope doesn't really do a lot because it's nerf and most of the attachments don't really do that much practically but it looks cool which is the important thing. The only things I would improve about it are probably the build quality as you can see there's just a lot of glue there um, and probably stronger servos. I was gonna have a more complex system where it goes up and spins around and stuff but this these little servos can't really handle that weight so I had to downgrade it a bit but I think this actually looks cleaner and probably less comical. Uh, I think what I was aiming for was probably far too comical. Thanks for watching my video and especially thanks to DF Robot for sending me the parts for this project. You can see a link for them in the description as well as an instruction guide for how to make something like this as well as my website which also has instructions for making my fingerprint ID Nerf gun. Give it a like if you liked, give it a subscribe if you want to see more, there's always new technology stuff I'm working on and yeah, thank you for watching, and again, thanks to DF Robot for supplying me with the parts for this. And Nerf, if you think that's cool, drop me an email. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.